Shout out to DVD Era TV. Salute. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you check the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. We was lobby boys before Jim Jones. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Let's get straight into this one. Now, a lot of people don't know that True Life whole beef with Dipset all stems from True Life cousin and homie Jojo Capone problems with Jim Jones. Jim and True Life situation derived from you? Yeah. That was my situation. Now, to make a long story short, it was a time when Jojo Capone and True Life were holding Jim Jones down and getting him out of a lot of issues he was in at the time. Now, basically, Cameron promised Jojo Capone some stuff on the business side of things where Jojo Capone could basically be compensated for holding Jim Jones down and Dipset, but it never happened due to Jim Jones. Now, Jojo Capone put a green light on Dipset. And this is how True Life got involved. Now, JoJo said it wasn't for Killer because JoJo felt Cam did right by him. That was my situation with the whole dip set. All that friction, green light is a green light, and that's just how we move. So originally, True Life was just coming at Jim Jones, but no one was off limits from Dipset as time went on. Now, let's take it back a little with this whole situation. Now, on January 13th, 2007, True Life would drop his mixtape for True York, hosted by Jay Love. Now, on the cover of this mixtape, it's a picture of True Life with Jim Jones behind him in a bikini, and he has Cameron as well, dressed like a female behind him. Now, a few days after True Life released his mixtape for True York, someone from Dipset camp Hacks True Life social media account on MySpace and uploaded a new cover. Now on this cover it said Jim York. It had a picture of Jim Jones in the front. Jay-Z was dressed behind Jim Jones like a female. And it also had True Life in like some One Piece Speedo type of thing in the back of Jim Jones as well. Someone in the Dipset camp has some ill computer game. Because they somehow hacked into the MySpace page of True Life from Rockefeller. Now around this time, Cameron wasn't really thinking about True Life, I feel like. Because he was more focused on his beef with 50 Cent. And also Cam and Jim wasn't even really seeing eye to eye at this time. Now around this time, 50 Cent had Jim Jones on Rap City with him. And it was rumors that Jim was going to sign the G-Unit. 50 Cent was beefing with Cam. Cameron, Jim Jones, and Jewels would go do a show with 50 as well. Jewel Santana's reason for being there and supporting my brother and making sure don't go left for my brother either. Now, by Jim Jones linking up with 50 Cent, you know him and Cameron couldn't have been on good terms. Now, let's take it back a little with this whole situation. April 30th, 2007, there'll be an altercation with True Life and Cameron as Cameron left Club Stereo. Now, supposedly True Life seen Cameron and he hopped out on Cam with a few of his guys and supposedly said F Dipset and basically confronted Cameron. And it's even said during the whole little altercation that True Life ended up putting hands on Cameron before the situation was broken up. Now, Cameron says he was alone, but I heard he was with his old manager, Big Joe. So get in that comment section if you're familiar with this story and let me know who Killer was actually with when this all happened with True Life. Now, it's also said that this whole situation was broken up by a voice jockey ad lover that used to work at Hot 97. Now when this altercation first happened, Cameron would deny it when he was asked about it. Now he had an interview with Sub-Zero and when Sub-Zero asked about the incident with True Life, he would act like he ain't know who True Life was. How you feeling about the True Life throwing blows at you, my man? I don't know who that is. Who's that? But a few years back, Jim would do an interview with Funk Flex explaining his problems with Cam and his reason for signing the Rock Nation. And Cameron would respond to this interview by going live on IG and telling his side of the story. Now, during this live, Cam brings up the whole true life situation and he had this to say. I don't know he got a problem with, some, with, with true life. I guess they was beefing or whatever. So, down to this beefing, whatever. I'm downtown the club by myself, Dolo. True life and like three get out of comms like yeah fuck dip set da 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 we get into an altercation down at the club it's, it's like three or four is it was me so we get into an altercation you know the next day it's publicized it's all blown out of proportion whatever to me that shit ooh, I got I got caught slipping I didn't know motherfucking I was beefing with this but it's fine I don't got no problem it's, it is what it is that's part of the street. 
Now, in all honesty, Cameron was caught in the crossfire because even Jojo Capone said that he ain't want nothing to happen to Cameron, but true life was on go, and I guess he felt he was guilty by association, and that's just how it is sometime in the streets. Now, I just wanted to touch on this situation one more time because there's some information that be left out in a lot of people's videos. They never really mention why true life even had beef with Dipset in the first place and how it really started, so I just wanted to shine light on that part of the video. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip hop stories tell a friend to tell a friend about my page like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell more content coming and i'm out one